Yo guys, what is up? This is Ethan from Minilocks coming back at you again with Discord.py episode 22. Today we're going to be making some nice, quick reaction rolls. Not quite quick as I say it, because this will likely cover two episodes, but it's going to be quite sick. Anyway, we need typing, we need Discord, we need emojis, and we need the commands framework, and they will all become apparent during the episodes. So we've got our little basic cog, ready to go, ready to be set up, but first, we're actually going to be making another class. And this is going to be a custom error. And this is going to be called reaction roles not set up because we plan on using a decorator later on in the episode rather than checking within the command itself. Now, normally you would derive any exceptions from the Python base exception class. However, because I want this to go through to the commands uh, on command error, we're going to derive this from commands.commandError. And in here, we're just going to put a doc string that comes up, and that's just going to be reaction roles are not set up for this guild. Boom, done. That is now a valid exception that we can raise whenever we want to. Now, just for our uh, decorator that we're going to make, we're going to go ahead and make that now. We're not going to use it in this episode because we're only going to be setting up the group and all of our relevant commands. You'll have to stick around for episode two for those. Um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to create that. We're going to call it is setup. Quite a simple intuitive name. We're going to put this little wrapper in here, async def. We're going to call this wrap func because it's just a wrapping function around a command check that takes CTX. Now, this is going to be looking in our database to see if it is set up or not. Because you can't have reaction roles if there's no reaction roles to give out, right? Now, you might notice how we're not doing uh, self.config. That's because we don't have access to self. Because this isn't in a class, and even if we put it in a class, uh, the commands.check does not give self. It gives ctx. However, this is why we've attached our database to the bot object, because ctx has bot. And uh, so that allows us to go ctx.bot.config, and that's pretty much exactly the same as using self.bot.config. Uh, anyway, if data is none, it means that it is an invalid guild. We don't have reaction role set up, so we can just go raise reaction roles not set up. That's pretty simple, that's that done. Now, we're also going to have a couple data fields, and they're going to be called message ID and channel ID, but we only need to check for one of them, because one cannot exist without the other in our implementation, as you will see during this episode. So, if that's false, we're just going to raise reaction roles not set up, otherwise, return true. That needs to be indented, that needs to be deleted, let's put a space. And then outside here, outside our function, we're just going to return commands.check. And for our predicate, we're going to give it wrap func. I'm not going to call it. And that is our check done. Anyway, we can get on to our cog now. So what we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're going to make a group for reaction roles. So you might remember uh, from one of our previous episodes, we're going to go add commands group. This is going to have an alias of just R. Not a good day for the equal sign. And I want to invoke this without uh, commands. True. That's all we need for that. And then down here, we're just going to make it so it's only in guilds. We don't need to provide anything else here. However, I am going to invoke the help method for this if we aren't given a subcommand, just so they can see how to use the commands because there's no functionality for reaction roles itself. It's all subcommands. So we're just going to go wait ctx.invoke. So this is just calling another command on the bot. And so we're going to give it self.bot.get underscore command. We're going to get the help command. And then as an argument, which you pass as entity, you are just going to give it reaction role. 
So as I will show you in a quick minute, this is going to call the help command for the reaction roles group command. And so basically ctx.invoke is essentially what the on message event does under the hood. So in on message, if you want to make it more fine tuned, you can fetch the ctx or the context using the message. And then on that ctx, you can invoke it. So that will call the relevant command and it's pretty much just like bot.process commands, except you get to fine pick what you want to invoke or not invoke. So let's go ahead and run the bot really quick. We could dive into here. Let's just double check the prefix. I can't quite remember. It's been a while. Anyway, help. And we can go, uh uh. Reaction roles. It's called the help command for it. And that's all we really need to know. So let's dive right back into it. What should we work on next? I think we work on setting the channel because that conveniently avoids our decorator. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go at reaction roles dot command. And then the name of our command is going to be called channel. And then this is going to be commands dot guild only. And if you're running this command, you should also have permissions in the guild to manage channels. Now we're just going to call this rr underscore channel just so we know it belongs to reaction roles and also so that we don't get conflicting function names. We're going to take a channel which is going to be type into to discord dot text channel and it's going to be equal to none by default. So if channel is none we are just going to go ahead and we're just going to send a message saying, you didn't give me a channel, uh, I'm going to use this channel. Sweet. And then we can just go ahead and we can just go channel is equal to channel or cpx dot channel. I kind of hoped that would have type hinted there. <laughs> now, because we're going to be sending in this channel, we're also going to go ahead and we're just going to really quickly test that we can actually use said channel. So I'm going to just going to clean this up a little bit. And then in here, we're going to put a try except the try await channel dot send. Testing if I can send messages here. And then this is just going to be deleted after 0.05. That way we can, you know, catch whether or not we can actually send. And if we can't, we can just raise on the base level HTTP exception. And then we can just tell the user, hey, I can't actually use this channel. Give me permissions, please. Sweet. So that's all we need to do there now. And so now we are just going to go ahead and build a reaction roles embed. And that's going to be the little cutesy embed that we're going to use down the line for people to react to. And we're going to build off that. But pretty much before we do that, we're going to be needing another one of our util functions. So we've got two more that we need to create. Now, which one do you think we're going to be working off first? That is actually a twit question because they come up in the next command. This one is just working off our database. So we're just going to be building an embed. Pretty standard, you should know how to do this by now. And that embed is going to have a title of, not a timestamp, pretty please, a title of reaction rules. And then we're just going to make the description equal to an empty string because we need to iterate over some things. The reaction underscore roles. is equal to await self dot bot dot reaction underscore roles damn it's really not a good day today for my underscore now for those of you that haven't figured it out by now because i didn't mention it at the start of the episode we also do need to create another document for reaction roles you should begin the hang of this by now given that we have five documents by the end of this episode so just go ahead and create that it's where we're going to be storing all of our reaction roles and we're just going to get all of those and then four item in reaction roles 
the role is going to be equal to ctx.guild.get underscore role and then we're just going to give it item and the role which is actually a role id and it's going to be able to fetch that for us description is going to be plus equal a nice little f string where we're going to have the items id and that is a crikey there we go got there in the end didn't we and then here we're just going to go roll dot mention so that it looks nice and good and uh embed put a new line character on that bad boy and then the embed description can just be set to description now we're going to go ahead we're going to send this message but while we're sending it we're actually going to set it equal to a variable so that we can work with it in the rest of our command because calling send actually returns a message object for that fun fact so we're just going to go n equals await channel dot send embed was embed and then for reaction wrong in reaction roles we are just going to go ahead and we are going to add the reaction of item underscore i id so the id in this part is going to be the emoji and then the role is going to be the role id that we should fetch and once we have that it's pretty much all done except well it's not stored in our database anywhere and that's going to be an issue because it's going to go ahead whenever you try to add a new reaction it's going to go ahead and say Meh, i'm not actually set up so let's just go ahead and insert this into the database self.bot.config.upsert nice little formatting there where the id is going to be the guilds id we are going to save the message underscore id as m id and we're going to save channel underscore id as m dot channel dot id quite hard stuff and we're also just going to have a little nice boolean flag called is underscore enabled and we're just going to set that to true by default now we can just go ahead we can go ahead and tell the user that this is all set up and they're all good to go although we aren't quite done there is something i just want to show you after i write this message out now as is this series we like to focus more on uh, rather than just a guild orientated bot we like to focus on keeping everything you know less guild orientated and just you know you can use it in any guild but that's not quite how this is going to work because this reaction roles gets all reaction roles and our database actually stores not per guild but every single guild will use the reaction roles database so we actually need to filter this before we do that i was going to show you this in one of the commands we use later on in one of our helper functions but i'm going to show you guys this now just because it's quite a cool feature of Python. So reaction role is going to be equal to, to list, and that's going to call, um, it's going to create a list out of whatever we're about to give it. And what we're about to give it is a filter. And so this essentially creates an iterable object such as range does, and it's lazily uh, evaluated. So essentially what that means is it creates a reference, it goes, hey, um here's a list of everything you want uh filtered to this guild but before you actually ask to use it it's just going to be a filter object so what we're going to go ahead and do is the filter takes a function so lambda r which is our reaction role and we're just going to filter based off if r's guild id is equal to the ctx.guild.id and then we're just going to go ahead and give this the reaction role starter set. So a bit more explaining what this does is essentially you give it a function where if the item evaluates to true, it will stay. Otherwise, it will be removed. 
So when we make this a list, we're going to get the reaction rolls for every single guild in existence, and then we're going to filter it by guild ID, so that only the reactions set up for this guild are actually shown in this guild. So it's quite a neat little object in Python, although you can play around with filter, although you'll notice if I get rid of the range, such as that, it's not actually going to work. It'll give you a filter object and ask to be executed. So that means you can loop over it, you can do whatever, you could go for filtered item in filter and then it'll loop over it like you've just looped over a list. But that should be all set up to good, good to go. So let's go ahead and let's evaluate this. Let's show you how it works. Let's go ahead, let's call RR again. Look at that. We can go RR channel. Boom, look at that. Cute. So you might have noticed that if you're paying attention in any of our past episodes, <laughs> I don't have any permissions in this guild which is why that error was thrown. So now if we go RR channel, you did not give me a channel, therefore I will use the current one. It's just gone and sent the test message, which you can see. I've already got two uh, reaction roles already set up for this guild because I've been testing it out. I'll remove those before the next episode, but for now you can see how it works. It's gone ahead, it's executed, it's gone. Look, you didn't give me a channel, so I will use the current one. It's then gone and tested. You probably didn't see that. It was there really quick, but if you pause the video, you'll notice it. It's then gone ahead and built this. It's found all the items that match guild ID. There we go. And it's put them in here, which is currently two. And it's gone ahead. It's added them, as you can see here. And then it's gone ahead and it's added both of those relevant reactions. And then it's gone ahead and said that should all be set up for you now. Just some nice little groundkeeping things. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put a delete after clause here. And we're just going to delete that after 30 seconds. Go ahead, copy paste that. Put that down here. And that is all for this episode. Like I said, I'll clean that up before the next episode. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Come back next episode and we should hopefully get you onto adding, removing, toggling reaction rolls. And then in a third episode, We'll go into adding the actual events so that when I click this, I get the roll or I lose the roll. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next half.